America's sweetheart Donald Trump had a movie made about him, but probably not in the way he would like. It's called The Apprentice. It focuses on Trump during the 70s and 80s, when he was making deals, trying to get away from his father's shadow, and becoming best pals with Roy Cohen. And I have to tell you, I felt incredibly ripped off, because the movie's called The Apprentice, so I was expecting something based off that hit TV series he was a part of, but no. There is zero Apprentice TV show stuff in this film. Let's talk about it. Before I begin, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel, I would really appreciate it. Especially since I'm putting out a review for a movie that'll automatically lose me subs. I noticed around the internet not a lot of channels are covering this movie because there's really no benefit to doing such. But I watched it, and damn it, I'm gonna review a movie regardless of the hate or pushback it gets. Because at the end of the day, this is a movie. I want to be entertained, and I'm hoping the film can accomplish that. So I'm gonna set aside all my personal opinions about Trump as a person, and I'm gonna give you a review of this film. And obviously the quickest and easiest way for me to tell you if you should watch this movie or not is, how do you rate Donald Trump as a person? Do you respect him? Do you despise him? You somewhere in the middle? If you're in the middle, perhaps this will sway you in a way that you weren't expecting, or it might be exactly what you are. Now, if you like the guy, don't watch this film. It paints him in a horrible light. If you despise this guy, I'm not sure I would watch the film either. Again, I saw it. I guess I was expecting more. This is a DJT film, but its primary focus is not so much on him, but on his personal relationship with Roy Cohen. The Apprentice title is referring to Trump and how he learned everything from Roy Cohen. Roy Cohen's played by Jeremy Strong here. He's from the hit TV show Succession. And as the movie goes on and on, I'm seeing Jeremy Strong kind of turn into his character from Succession because Roy Cohen is going to go on some tough times later. As for Trump, we have the Winter Soldier taking on that role. Sebastian Stan plays him, and I think he does a pretty damn good job. He gets the mannerisms down. He gets the inflection of the voice and he pairs it back. He is downplaying the character for sure. The reason I don't really recommend anyone needs to watch this is because there's just not much here. There isn't a complete story. This is about Trump becoming the man he is, the brand of Donald Trump. And quite frankly, it's just not that interesting of a story. He's not that fascinating of a person if you boil it all down. He helped run his dad's hotels, and then he wanted to make a name for himself by building Trump Tower, cleaning up New York City, rebuilding downtown Manhattan, marrying Ivana Trump, not to be confused with Ivanka Trump, it's crazy that there's just one letter separating these two women, but whatever. And it's briefly going to dive into some of the failed ventures he starts to get into, the writing of his book, The Art of the Deal, his marriage issues with Ivana, but everything's left open. You're going in having to know a lot about this guy, and because he is such a polarizing individual, what you know about him might be different than what someone else does. You might have two completely different facts on your side, and therefore, you will not enjoy this movie if you're a fan of the guy, and if you hate the dude, yeah, you're gonna get more out of it, but you've probably seen documentaries on him already, or you're just sick of seeing him altogether, so why would you subject yourself to two more hours of torture? But again, for me, entertainment-wise, it's slow moving, the dialogue, while sharp at times, also isn't bringing anything new to the table. Visually speaking, it's interesting, but I also don't think it goes far enough. It has an old school 4x3 aspect ratio, like you're watching this thing on a TV special back in the 80s, or you have a shitty copy on VHS. There's static infused, there's little lines where the tape is kind of going bad, night shots are really grainy. It's doing a bunch of retrofitting. Actually, it's doing the exact opposite of that. It would be modern decoupling. I think I made up a term just now, and I like it. I was hoping, though, as the time period changed, going from the 70s to the 80s, we would have visual differences. 
And if they were there, they were too subtle for me to notice. This is one of those fun movies that has like 18 production studios that you've never heard of before the movie starts. This definitely has a smaller indie feel budget to it. But the locations, the clothing, everything is very impressively done. Again, there just isn't much meat on the bones for this type of story. I would have liked it broadened out more. Seeing Sebastian grow up as Trump, get that 4x3 open to a wide screen as we get into the more modern era. It, it, it's just there. It's just there. It's watchable, the performances are solid, but at the end of the day, it just seems like a convenient October surprise release. Hopefully it gets in mainstream news, gets people talking, seeing the movie. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's gonna have any lasting appeal. And quite frankly, there's so many better stories you could tell just about this guy that I think it drops the ball. Well shot, well directed, well performed, but the story does nothing for me. So last few tidbits for you. The film is rated R. It's two hours long. It does have a lot of crass dialogue. It does have an intense sexual encounter. There's some nudity. And so yeah, that's what you're gonna get from this film. And I guess I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching the video. Again, please subscribe if you appreciate honest criticism with a little bit of humor, hopefully interjected once in a while. Think about liking the video, sharing it around, doing whatever you need to do. And if you love what I'm doing, maybe think about becoming a patron. At patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, there's different tiers, and it really just helps me and the channel out, and I would appreciate it. All right, hope to see you next time.